is Shannon, the Soda Stitcher, and I'm here for an update today. Um, I will do a video on all of my framed um, pieces, all of my fully finished objects, my FFOs, um, soon. But today I just want to do an update because I have all of my whips works in progress. For those of you who don't, don't know um, the cross-stitch lingo, um, I have a lot of things to show just from May that I wanted to um, go through since it's now June 1st. Um, crazy. <laughs> um, and then I have something haul, kind of a little bit. And um, Maggie's down here. She is licking my arm, thinking that she needs attention, but we're going to see if we can get through this without her barking. <laughs> Anyways, so I have whips, haul, and one finish. And then I also drew for the uh, winner from my last video um, for hitting 500. So let's just talk about that a little bit. Um, last time I know I just said I was so overwhelmed with how many subscribers I had and you guys continue to blow me away. I think, shoot, I don't even think I checked today, but I think last night I was over just over 1,700 or something like that. Um, I can't remember for certain what it was, but somewhere around there. Um, so I have some big plans. I have a big celebration giveaway coming for when I hit 2,000 um, to thank all of you for watching and supporting me. I know I've said it, but literally I can't believe the success that it's already been and I'm having fun. So I plan on continuing to make videos. So anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my whips first. Um, the first one that I wanted to talk about was is, um, Dimensions Gold Aurora Cabin. And um, I just cut that out of the thing. So, um, But that's the picture of what it'll look like when it's done. And I did the, I did the, for the month of May, I did 25-7 challenge. I talked about it on my last video where Julie from Reflections Framing and Stitching um, has a Facebook group that um, she that the challenge is to stitch 25 minutes or 25 stitches every day or seven days a week. I did it for 31 days. Um, I think I'm going to take the month of June off just because I was starting to like kind of get where I didn't want to stitch it anymore. And also, um, I just want to stitch some other things. So I... Um, made so much progress literally I can't believe I know some days I stitched more than 25 minutes if I was working on a color I just go ahead and finish it but I can't believe how much progress that I made and I'm excited to show you guys so I will put a picture up there or there one of the sides of what it looked like before I started the 25 7 challenge on May 1st and this is where I am now I have made so much progress you guys I'm super excited about this um I filled in let's see if I can do this holding it I filled in the base of these trees all of this area finished this rock all of this and then went over to the pond that's reflecting the house is reflecting in so that's where I've gotten I'm gonna show you more of a close-up so yeah, I am super excited with how much progress I made and I love it. I would say that I'm a little over halfway done now. Um, be nice if I got it done by mm, next year. Let's, let's go with that. But yeah, so that was just super rewarding to see the progress I made just in a month, you guys. It works, so I highly recommend it. All right, next I have, so this one is a whip that um, I started for, okay, sorry about that. Um, this one was a sal that's hosted by Anastasia Ming. She is ne Nekodetka on Instagram. 
Um, she is a lovely Russian girl that lives in, I believe, China. I think her husband's in China. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I'll link her below. But she started a sale based on blends don't scare me, backstitch doesn't scare me. Because a lot of Russian designers have a lot of blends, blended um, flosses, a lot of back stitches. So I decided to start Northern Lights, and it is by, and I'm not going to be able to say this right, Nazeda Mashtakova. It was on mybobbin.com, and I'll link this pattern down below. But um, obviously, I, I think I talked about that I love the Northern Lights, and I fell in love with this. And that is like the artist rendering. I don't have a picture of what it looks like completed. It is on mybobbin.com. But um, let's see. Yeah, this is all in Russian, so there's nothing. Um, it's 96 by 96. 56 solids, 23 blends. So I am uh, stitching this on a 32 count Lugana. Yes, Lugana called Artemis by Be Stitch Me. And I'm just looking to make sure I have this right like this. And I started on her hair, which is a blend. And let's see if I can hold that up. Oh, it's a needle. You can see the hair. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. Um, I can't wait to get onto the Northern Lights, but that was just one one night's progress that I did um, I, one, the day that I started it. So this is in a Made by Mama Joan bag using Blackbird fabrics, I believe. Yeah, highly recommend her. Okay, so the next one is... Hello from Liz Matthews, the Red R Sampler. Now this is one of my WIPCO projects that I, um, for May, it was 10 hours. And it actually got drew for, drawn, drew, whatever, um, for June as well. I worked maybe two hours on it, so I have 18 hours to catch up for May and June. Um, I did some of this and then I think these three letters. Now I'm going to put a piece of paper behind this. I'm going to, first I'm going to show you the chart. So Red R Sampler by Hello from Liz Matthews. Super pretty. So I had put a poll on my Instagram because I was struggling with the alphabets like in here, in here, that you can't really see the color. And I was thinking that, I was struggling because I was thinking it was the color fabric I chose, but then I looked at it some more. So I did a poll to see if I should keep it or do one shade darker. And it was pretty close, a little bit, a few more people voted for changing it, but I think I'm rethinking that I will, I don't think I'm going to re, to change it, and this is why. So you can see on here, if I can get it right, there we go. You can see up here, the K is the new color. That it's a it's a shade darker than the L and the M. Now, I don't think I like it, and the reason why is because I think it's too yellow. And because on the pattern, it really blends in too, and I think that that's the way it was intended to be. So I, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the K, restitch it with a lighter color, and then keep going on it. So I, like I said, I have 18 hours to get in, um, eight hours left for May and then 10 for June. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about that as well. Um, 
I'll just hold this up quick. Oh, actually, no. Here it is. So this was the original color, eight, MPI 867, and then here's 868. And see how much more yellow it is, and I just don't like it. So I think I'm going to leave it, which makes it a lot easier for me not to have to rip out a lot. Yay. Um, this is in a bag made by Kin uh, Kindred Stitcher Lisa. Every once in a while, she puts bags on her Instagram. It's a D stash or separate account, but I love it because these hold 11 by 11 Q snaps amazingly. Which I love because when I'm going back and forth to um, our lake, it's nice to have something that I don't have to take out of the Q-snap. But see, fits amazingly. All right. The next one, oh, and I don't think I said, um, it is on 36 count color and cotton in the colorway cottage stone. So that was what that was on. The next one is Halloween Quaker by Leela Studio, and we all know what it looks like. <laughs> it's a beast. I am stitching this on 40 count murky by Picture This Plus, which is the called for and using all of the called for colors. So on Sunday, Michelle Bendy had, she hosts a, it was historically Halloween Quaker Zoom, um, so that you, every, you know, she'd have a group of people that get together and stitch on the Halloween Quaker. Michelle has finished her Halloween Quaker, so now she is doing the Quaker Zoom sale. Um, so anybody that is stitching on any sort of Quaker can go, um, can attend. So if you're interested in learning more about that, go ahead and visit her channel, link it below. Um, there's a Google form that you'll need to fill, fill out so in order for you to get um, the invites. Um, so I, Okay, this is going to be a side tangent. Um, you like my bruise? Can you tell I was doing cleaning and stuff this weekend? Um, anyways, so we were on the Quaker Zoom cell on Sunday. They started talking about Pokemon Go. Now, I've never been interested, never cared about it. But there were so many people playing and they were just so excited about it and loved it. So don't you know I signed up. And I spent probably... A quarter or third of the the Zoom cell, setting up my Pokemon Go, and everybody was giving their codes in the chat, and now I'm obsessed. Um, so I didn't get, didn't get as much done on the cell as I wanted, or on the Zoom call. So I actually um, kept working, and I am super excited that I finished this beast of a motif. It is that big, big one in the top left corner. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to get used to this, what's right and left on camera and where to point, maybe someday, maybe after my 100th video. Um, anyway, so I finished the big motif and then I did that little tiny purple one. So, And honestly, like I was having so much fun I didn't want to put it down. But I did. Um, so I am using, like I said, all of the called fours in a bendy flip. That was what my um, flosses from from the uh, Red R sampler were in one of these as well. But I love these. They're from Bags Plus. Um, Michelle also does sell them on her D stash. She's the American distributor because Bags Plus is from the UK, I believe. Um, and it's in a bag by the 805 Stitcher, my friend Tara, and I love it because I love all things like spooky Ouija, all that stuff. So that is where I'm at on Halloween Quaker. I freaking love stitching on this, and I love this fabric. I love stitching on it. It's very little. Again, I use my bifocals and a magnifier so I can see it because they are little holes. Oh, and my cute needle minder. Bubble tea with little bobas floating in there. 
I'm trying to remember who I bought that from. It was on Etsy. And I will link that below too if there's any other bubble tea lovers that you are dying to have a needle minder. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Next is Gather Here by Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, sorry, I'm taking notes, so I remember to put things in the box. Okay. Um, this is on a 32 count fabric by Color and Cotton, and the name is escaping me, and I forgot to write it down. Um, I do have a lot of that bird's done, and then the leaves kind of go over into here. I didn't want to take it out of the Q snap, but I did make some progress. Um, since my whip parade. So you can see. Yeah. And I'm going to hold this up. I'm using the um, silken colors in smokestack. And I love the variegation in this floss. And that's a needle minder from Mad for Minders, I believe. And I don't have this one in a bag right now. All right, and my last whip is one of my um, May. Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. So the drop this, so I had to go pick it up. This is Plum Street Samplers by Toma uh, Tomato Dame by Plum Street Samplers. I have this on my. June whip go got pulled or got drooped rolled whatever <laughs> um whip go for um those that you don't know what that is it is Jesse Marie does stuff created this whip go it's like bingo so w-i-p-g-o instead of b-i-n-g-o and you fill out your card be before um January 1st and then she pulls numbers on the 27th of each month and then the gist is to make progress on things that you want to, right? But you can also reward yourself. Um, if you like, get blackout, maybe you want to do something cool. Or um, if you get a bingo, you can do something cool, like buy something. Now, I'm just doing it for the progress because let's be real. I buy what I want when I want. So, <laughs> well, not really applicable. Um, but anyways, so I pull, took this out last night and started... Um, the tomato and so I you know I think I'll be able to finish it I don't think the tomato is the heaviest part in her dress really but I mean I think it'll be fairly easy to finish in May so yeah and needle minder is from I'm almost positive it's flamingo toes and it is pin cushion tomato from a pin cushion which I love so yeah this fabric is, let's roll down here and see, 16 Count Haven by Picture This Plus. And it's just a beautiful blue. I love it. So yeah, those are all my whips. Now, my other May whip go was the Heritage Sampler by Plum, Plum Street Sampler and my, um, my square I put on there because I wanted to finish it, and I did, and I'm so excited. So I am going to show that to you now. There we go. And I finished it, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm trying to get straight. It was so much fun to stitch. I love it. I'm going to take it to Michael's tomorrow. Um, to get framed, but here I'm going to pull it up a little more. So yeah, I just love it. I'm super excited. I want to kit up the next one, a new constellation. Um, so I want to kit that one up and get started on it because I, and then there's the equality sampler after that that I want to start as well. So, um... I think that that's it. 
for plans, I just, I'm sure I'm going to start something and do something, but I want to get caught up on the Red R Sampler and finish Tomato Dame. Um, I may also throw in there, um, working on Gather here because I really want to finish that if I have time. But yeah, those are, I don't really have a lot of plans for June, but those are it. Um, and so I'm actually going to do the giveaway from last time. If you remember, I was giving this away. Here we go. And I drew a winner, and I'll put the screenshot up here. Um, the winner is Jerry. G-E-R-I, that's what her YouTube name is. I don't know anything more than that, but um, Jerry, you won. So if um, you're watching this, I'm actually going to put the Google form in my box below. If you could fill that out, then I'll have your information and I'll have it. Um, so as soon as I get that, then I'll go ahead and get that um, mailed out to you. And then, I can't remember if I talked about this. In the beginning of my video I don't think I did if I did I'll cut this part out I am planning something huge for 2000 so I am just now over 1700 I believe that was what it was yesterday I haven't looked yet today um, but when I hit 2000 I have some big giveaways I have some pretty cool prizes that were um, given to me to give to you and so you are not going to want to miss that. Your friends aren't going to want to miss that. So as soon as I get to 2,000, we'll be doing that. Um, and I'm so excited to give things away because I like giving things away. Um, so stay tuned for that. Okay, my last thing is my haul. And so I got some things. First, I'm going to go through this cute little bag. So... Funny story, I had bought something from an Etsy seller, and I'll link them below. I think it was Chronic Floss last fall, if I remember correctly, but I can't remember. Anyways, um, they it came from what is called the Sweetwater Quilting um, Shop. It might not be the whole name, but I will... Um, Put a link to their website below so all you quilters it's adorable in there i'm not a quilter i don't want to be a quilter but they do have a small section of cross stitch stuff obviously i bought from them on etsy and they are about a half hour from my house so i went ahead and stopped there earlier today and found some goodies um and of course their bags so cute so i got a few things I had never seen this, but they had um, a shop model of this. It's called Down in the Valley by Blackbird Designs. Now, I will probably frame it in a hoop. I, I'm not into these kind of finishes. I'm a framer. I like everything framed and on the walls. Um, but I have never seen this before, and it was super cute. I wonder what year it's from. I wonder what it says on the pattern. 2015 um, so I don't know if it's out of print or I'm not really sure um, but super cute and then I got I found this is one I've been wanting and they had it Wicked Witch by La Dida which I love Wizard of Oz so this was like right up my alley and they had the shop model of that too I thought it was bigger but it really isn't it's not big at all, so that'll be cool. And then I got Halloween Greetings by Blackbird Designs. Sorry, I'm getting a glare. I'm trying to avoid the glare. There we go. Good enough. Uh, there we go. I had never seen that before. It's super cute. Pretty, you know, fairly easy. It'd be cool to put it on some, like, spooky Halloween-y fabric. Where is this one from? 2009. So I don't know if it's out of print either. They did have another one, I believe. So 
so yeah and then they had some Weeks Dye Works fabrics, which I was excited to see. Um, these two colors I don't have. I've never used them before. They are bo both 32 count linen, fat quarters. This one is the color Baby's Breath. It's kind of, it's showing up more tan. It's kind of got more of a peachy look there. That's real. And then they also had 32 count beige. which is a beautiful Tampa color. Um, they also had Tin Roof, Kudzu, and there was a couple more colors, but I can't remember. Anyways, so if you're looking for weeks, I know it was nothing higher than 32 counts. I know they had a 30 count as well. But yeah, so that was a fun little trip to get some goodies. Um, okay, next I have my May Be Stitch Me um, Fabric Club of the Month. This is a 32 count. It's called Stonehenge. It's beautiful. Now, I was doing 40. Well, first I was doing 36, then I went to 40, then I thought I would get some 32s, and now I went back up to 40 because I love 40 counts. And then I got my Color and Cotton May, um, May Fabric of the Month. Now, I just got it today, so I don't know if everybody's gotten them or not. Um, so if you haven't, skip a little <laughs> forward. This is a 40 count in, it's called Garden Path. And it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love that. And then I got my fiber on the whim. No, I didn't get my club. This was a purchase that I got from Fat Quarter Shop. I got an order. I ordered because last Wednesday for their deal of the month. Sorry, this is going to crinkle real quick. I want to take it out. Just came in the mail today. Um, their sale the day thing when they do their floss tubes on Wednesdays. This was um, half off, I think, and it is Be In My Bonnet um, cards. But I love the tin, and I actually am going to use the tin to put, like, my scissors, extra needles, like, all that kind of stuff in for when we go up to the camper um, so that everything is in one box, which will make it a lot easier so that I don't forget to bring a needle or, you know, all those things. Um, and then the cards are super cute. Hello? And this one is Write Your Own Story, Be Happy, just one stitch at a time, like the cover, Smile, and then the colored envelopes too. So I think those are cute. I'll definitely use those when I send out my giveaways. That'll be super fun. And then I got, um, I've been wanting to get Cypress uh, fiber on the wind, wind fabric and they had this in 40 count so I grabbed that as a fat quarter it's a beautiful green I'm going to take it out and see if it looks a little better yes there it is it's kind of a gray green it's beautiful so yeah I love that and then I got one of Teresa Colgate's new patterns is the Scylla Witches Quaker, which is super fun. Um, I won't start this until I'm done with Halloween Quaker, but I might actually mimic some of the colors on Halloween Quaker and do it on Murky as well. I think I'm going to do that. I think that would be really cool. So, yeah. Okay. And then... I ordered from 123 Stitch. So I had been eyeing up this chart, and it was before I had a floss tube, so I was like, eh, I'm not going to stitch it. But now I think I'm going to start this once I hit 2,000 subscribers to celebrate, and I'm going to do floss tube friends. The 
only thing that's bugging me about this pattern, I love that they have diversity on there, but there's no guys on there. And we have our guy floss tube friends, so why isn't there a guy on there? So I might try to edit it somehow. I was thinking about this lady in the pink, since she's the more square looking one, that maybe I could make her dress into pants make like maybe the shoulders more broad try to figure out some boy hair um because yeah i think that that needs to be a boy because we have all of our friends yeah and i had gotten some of the flosses that i didn't have already in my collection for it and then once i figure out the boy i'll i'm not sure what color we'll do those but Something that matches or coordinates. And then I also, so I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I um, finally bit the bullet and bought them. It's a Silver Creek Samplers, um, Sing a Sampler. I got all four of them. Because I freaking love the sound of music. Now, I know Jan Hicks did a color conversion based on someone and I can't remember who, I'll link Jan Hicks's blog post below. Um, the colors are much more bright, which I will definitely do. Um, I don't know if I'll do the exact same colors, but I'm going to take inspiration from that, and then I'm going to do it all in one block. Um, so they had them like in blocks, like not long, but in a square with them. So that's what I'm going to plan on doing, I think. Although it might be kind of fun to do it in a long row. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure when I'll start it, but I definitely cannot wait to stitch that. So I got that. And then I needed one more color for the floss tube friends. So I ordered from Needle Case Goodies on Etsy. I love ordering from her because she's in Iowa and gets here just like any split fast. Um, so I got one more floss color that I needed for that. And then I love blues and I've been eyeing this up so I went ahead and got it from the heart needle art by Wendy and it's Jobina 1841 and it's a reproduction sampler but all of those colors are so delicious yeah and then two more things um so my friend Liz from Hello from Liz Matthews just released certain of her new releases. And on there, she took one of her um, charts that she did back, gosh, when she was a teenager, and designed under Elizabeth's Garden, and she redid it. And I want to do both of them. I want to do the old one and the new one. I want to see what the difference is in size, but wouldn't it be cool to do them next to each other? Or hang them next to each other if I did them separately. Um, and so I found on eBay by Elizabeth's Garden, My House in the Garden. Now the new one is called My Home in the Garden. But yeah, I found it on eBay. You can find her old patterns on there. I've gotten quite a few of them. And I am super excited that I got this. It's a picture. It's the old one. It didn't come in a plastic or anything. I will put it in there, but you can see where the old, oh, I don't know if you can tell. There it is, where the old price tag was. But yeah, I love this. Let's see if it has, it's from 2001. So 20 years ago she designed that, isn't that cool? So I grabbed that, yay. And then my last thing is on um, Michelle Bendy's D-Stash. She does D-Stashes on Sundays, not every Sunday. Um, but on there, like I said earlier, she will sell her bendy flips and any other things that she has from Bags Plus. And I went ahead and got this one. It is a 30 pocket, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, no more than that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 45 pockets. So, cute little deer on there. So that is it for my haul. Now I can put it all away. Um, so I did a thing. 
I have been wanting to do the Erin from Steel City Stitchers um, uh, fabric organization, but I don't have anything to put it in. Like, I didn't know where I'd put them. I didn't want bins sitting in my craft room. I wasn't, just wasn't sure. So the majority of the furniture in my craft room is, room is like the white Ikea stuff, maybe one from Menards. Um, file of cabinet it's a lateral that I got from office depot it's all that pressed board stuff inexpensive well I decided I was going to try to find a dresser a wide short dresser so that I could organize more not just my fabrics but other stuff too to put in a place where I have one of those cube things which I'll put back in my closet where it, was to begin, where it was to begin with and I bought the comic book boards and I'll link the video down below too um I bought the comic book boards to roll all of my fabric on and the pins and then you write on there what it is which is super cool um now I couldn't find any dresser drawers that were deep enough for the cardboards at least I don't think so I didn't know if they're measuring where the side goes up to and sometimes there's more space above the drawers um, but regardless I might have to cut them down a little bit which is fine I have one of those guillotine um, trimmers so I'm excited to do that because I love organizing it's another one another thing that I love to do um, so um, if you're interested in seeing my dresser um, I can do a quick video of that or maybe I'll put it on my Instagram not sure but might take me a while to get it all um, organized, but I'm super excited for that. Um, that should be here Thursday. I think the cardboards and the dresser, now the dresser I have to put together, which those are always fun. Well, I don't mind putting them together. It's just time consuming. Um, so yeah, I did that thing. I don't think I have anything else. Um, I think my next video I'll probably do my uh, finishes, all my frame stuff. Hopefully, I'll have my heritage sampler back um, by then. If not, I'll show it in another video. Um, but yeah, again, thank you all so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. You guys are super amazing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.